Lord, we honor you, we exalt you, and we pray to you. We come to you in the name of our ancestors that were persecuted, especially those that were torn from their homes in June of 1941. Even though they committed no crime, they were deported to a strange land, a life of cruelty, and in many cases, death at the hands of the KGB and the Stalin regime. We remember this dark period in our history, and though it pains us to do so, we continually remember those terrible events to tell our story to the world so that such events aren't repeated. We are in a situation today that very closely follows the events of the 1930s, which led to the Second World War. The current leader of Russia, a former KGB colonel, and only former because the Soviet Union collapsed in 1991, has invaded Georgia and Ukraine under the guise of protecting its citizens, such as was done by Hitler in Czechoslovakia in 1938 and in Poland in 1939, starting the Second World War. He has crushed democratic opposition and the press, and now he wants to make himself Tsar for life. This is the big bear that looks over at the Baltic Republics with hunger in his eyes. We are here today to remind the world of what happened in the past so that it is not repeated in the future. Although we love our adopted land, Canada, we still have love for our Estonian, Latvian, and Lithuanian motherlands that gave us our identity. As Canadians, we have two mothers and will continue to love and defend both of them. Oh. 
Psalm 34, 15 to 22. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their cry. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to blot out their name from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. He protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked. The foes of the righteous will be condemned. The Lord will rescue his servants. No one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. Amen. Today, we remember the victims of the communist genocide who have been deported to Siberia from the Baltic states. In the Latvian anthem, there we find a prayer, words, God bless Latvia. Blessing is a great word. What does it mean to be blessed in the Sermon of the Mount, Jesus speaks of those who are blessed. Blessed are peacemakers. Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are those persecuted for righteousness sake. Not just those who feel blessed or happy, but most times innocent victims, those who stand up for justice, those who themselves are or have been blessing for others. We remember them today as we pray. Kungs Dīvs, mēs pieminam tos, kas cieta zem padomi varas un kas arī caur ciešanām spēja saglabāt cilvēcību un mīlestību. Kungs, mēs lūdzam par taisnību arī mūsdienās cilvēku attiecībās valsta starpā un sabiedrībā. Lai mēs nepieļautu necilvēcīgu noziegumu atkārtošanos un spētu pasniegt roku visiem, kam nodarīts pāri. Kungs, dod, lai mēs lai mūsu kopīgā pagātnie ir tā, kas neskatoties uz sāpēm, nes svētību un saliedēm mums arī šodien. Mēs noliecam galvu visu nevainīgu lukuru priekšā, 
un izlūdzamies viņiem tavu mīru. To lūdzu Jēzus vārdā. Āmen. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 11. There is an appointed time for everything, and a time for every affair under the heavens. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to uproot the plant. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to tear down, and a time to build. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to mourn, and a time to dance a time to scatter stones, and a time to gather them, a time to embrace, and a time to be far from embraces, a time to seek, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to rend, and a time to sow, a time to be silent, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. What advantage has the worker from his toil? I have considered the task which God has appointed for men to be busied about. He has made everything appropriate to its time and has put the timeless into their hearts without men's ever discovering from beginning to end the work which God has done. Amen. Dear Baltics, Baltic friends, 79 years ago, our Baltic countries were stunned by the first mass deportation carried out by Soviet oppressors. The war that followed and the occupation that lasted them almost 50 years brought more injustice and resulted in the deaths of thousands of innocent victims. Although several generations have been raised since then, and our countries have been free for almost 30 years, there are many who remember that painful time. We must remember our history but not for the purpose of cursing the dictators of the time. That will not help us to live a better life today and build up hopeful future for our children. Today we must take that experience as a lesson to value democracy and freedom, to stand up to leaders with dictatorial tendencies to use our Christian faith to fight against xenophobia and other injustice. Let us pray, each in our own mother tongue, that peace, unity and love may guide us and our countries. Amen. And let us pray together by the words of Lord's Prayer, each in own native language. Meie isa, kes sa oled taevas, pühitsetud olgu sinu nimi, sinu riik tulgu, sinu tahtmine sündigu nagu taevas nendaga maa peal. Meie igapäevast leib anna meile täna päev, Ja anna meile andeks meie võlad, nagu meiegi andeks anna oma võlglastele. Ja ära saada meid kiusatusse, vaid päästa meid ära kurjast, sest sinu päralt on riik, vägi ja au igavesti. Aamen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. 
the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.